Apple's Vision Pro Mixed Reality headset is finally here after years of rumors, leaks, and speculations. But how does it compare to another high-end headset, the recently announced MetaQuest 3? And which one should you buy? Let's break it down. Apple unveiled the Vision Pro at this year's WWDC keynote, and just days before, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg teased the new Quest 3 on Instagram. Interesting timing. We didn't get a lot of details about the Quest 3, but you may now be wondering which device to reach for when they eventually hit store shelves, so let's explore what we know so far. Also, just to get this out of the way, we are not comparing this to Meta's other mixed reality headset, the Quest Pro. Instead, we're looking at two recently unveiled devices, the Vision Pro and the Quest 3. First things first, the price. Apple's Vision Pro mixed reality headset costs a whopping $3,500. Meanwhile, the Quest 3 starts at $500, which for reference is more than the Quest 2, but less than the PlayStation VR 2. That gives you an idea of who Apple and Meta are targeting with their respective devices. $500 for the Quest 3 isn't pocket change, but it's a lot easier to swallow than a $3,500 price tag, so it might appeal to more casual or everyday consumers. But then again, a lot of Apple fans may be willing to fork over as much cash as needed to secure the hottest new product, the power of Apple. Now, let's look into how these devices work. The Vision Pro is controlled by users' eyes, hands, and voice. You can browse through apps just by looking at them and then tap your fingers together to select, flick your wrist to scroll, and use your voice to dictate. The idea is to make it feel like digital content is physically there in your space. You can turn the digital crown on the side of the headset to control how much of the virtual or physical world you're seeing. The Quest 3 also blends physical and virtual worlds, so you can interact with both simultaneously. So you could play a virtual board game on your kitchen table or decorate your home with virtual art, according to Meta. Both devices will offer an immersive experience when it comes to watching movies and TV shows and playing video games. Apple highlighted being able to watch 3D movies with the Vision Pro, along with connecting popular game controllers. There are around 500 apps and experiences for the Quest 2 in Meta's App Store, and you can play around 100 Apple Arcade games with a standard gaming controller, like you would with a TV with Apple TV. But so far, if you want a more immersive gaming experience, you may want to reach for the Quest. Based on the keynote, it seems like Apple is more focused on extending what you do on your phone or computer into the world around you. That could mean watching a TV show, looking at photos, or browsing through videos. And you can't talk about an Apple product without noting the advantage of having the Apple ecosystem at your fingertips, literally. Something else Apple emphasized in its keynote is work collaboration. The Vision Pro supports Magic Keyboard and Magic Trackpad, so users can essentially set up a workspace through the headset. When it comes to hardware, it's a bit of a toss-up. A huge advantage for Meta is that this isn't their first rodeo. They've been releasing headsets for years, so they have more experience and have gotten a lot more feedback than Apple. But Apple's also known for well-designed products, so that user experience with the Vision Pro is probably going to be pretty solid. Renders of the Quest 3 show a three-strap design to help distribute the weight when you wear it, and Meta's controllers are also known for being lightweight and ergonomic. The Vision Pro has a two-sided strap with a wide pad in the back to hold your head, and there's also an option to add a third strap like with the Quest 3. The key difference here is that there are no controllers with the Vision Pro, since it relies entirely on eye tracking, hand gestures, and voice control. But Apple did show it being used with the wireless PS5 controller for gaming. Ultimately, both devices are relatively lightweight, which is of course important if you're strapping it to your head. The Quest 3 is 40% thinner than its predecessor, and the Vision Pro's glass front and aluminum frame also make it pretty thin and light. Meta says the Quest 3 has double the GPU processing power than the Quest 2 and higher resolution displays with clearer and sharper visuals. Apple's Vision Pro uses a combination of its M2 processor and a brand new R1 chip, which processes input from 12 cameras, 5 sensors, and 6 microphones. Users with corrective vision can add Zeiss optical inserts to make sure eye tracking is accurate. Spatial audio is personalized based on each individual's head and ear geometry. We don't know much about the Quest 3's battery life, but the expected life for the Quest 2 and Quest Pro is two hours, so it'll probably be around the same. Apple says the Vision Pro is designed for all-day use when it's plugged in and will last up to two hours with its external battery pack. You'll have some time to decide which of these devices fits your needs better. The Vision Pro isn't slated to come out until early next year, and the Quest 3 will ship in the fall. 
But until then, which of these two devices are you leaning more toward? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more on upcoming products from Apple and Meta. Thanks for watching.